This is Harold Sudell. He is product manager for broadcast test and measurement products. Harold, what is it that you're showing at NAB? On this year's NAB, we're going to show uh, the test transmitter family for broadcast receivers. How do you differentiate between the product family? The so RNS SFU is our high end RD solution. The broadcast test system allows the generation of all relevant uh, broadcast test standards. Um, and it features also a very powerful channel simulator inside. It has become the industry standard. Our SFE broadcast tester is the mid-range solution. It is very compact. Um, it features also all relevant broadcast standards in one box, uh, but at the same time it has a reduced scope of functions. Um, uh, it is mainly for customers uh, which, uh, who want to use the unit in service applications as well as for low-end R&D applications. Our SFE 100 test transmitter is our solution for manufacturing applications. Uh, it also features all relevant standards in one box and this functionality at a very low price. How does the product family address the North American market? All three products of course support the ATSC 8VSB standard. In the recent years, also media flow become more and more important. Also, this media flow standard is fully supported on the units. Um, the latest implementation for the North American market is ATSC Mobile DTV. And that is what we see here in this setup. The SFU is generating an ATSC Mobile DTV compliant signal, puts it out over the RF interface. Signal is then received over a PIX3 receiver on this laptop over here. The software itself communicates with the receiver and displays the picture. A typical application in R&D applications for receivers is to test how sensitive is a receiver towards noise. What we can do uh, by means of the channel simulator capabilities of the SFU is for example uh, to decrease the carrier to noise ratio until the receiver fails decoding the picture properly. As you can see on the laptop, uh, the picture froze. The reason is that uh, the noise floor was too high uh, as the receiver could properly demodulate and decode the signal. 